So as a lot of you may know, I now have the Meta Quest 3. So why is it that I'm doing a Meta Quest 2 video? Well, in amongst doing all the Quest 3 videos, one of my viewers said to me that the Quest 3 looks better because AMD improved the drivers and uh, I, I happen to have an AMD graphics card and so I thought let's let's test this out I've done a lot of Quest 2 for sim racing videos in the past uh, and it's all the whole time this Quest 2 has been out uh, it, it hasn't been a hundred percent in PC VR for me and I did the final video, Quest 2 for Sim Racing, and the conclusion was it still just wasn't there. But, now, maybe things have changed. Okay, so I, I plugged the, the Quest 2 into the PC uh, via the original Oculus Link cable, and when it came to the settings in Oculus, I put on 90 Hertz and a resolution of this, which is just, I think, the normal resolution for 90 Hertz. And then in Steam VR, I increased the resolution 150%. This is the version of AMD software I'm running for this test. And these are my computer specs. Right, so here is ACC, and these are the graphical settings I'm running in ACC. The reason I am using ACC, for those of you that don't know, ACC is quite intensive and very intensive in VR. Uh, but even not in VR, ACC is, is quite an intensive game. But the VR in particular is even worse. So I'm um, using the, the hardest game I have uh, to test this and keep in mind that the vision that you're seeing right now is not a hundred percent representative because I'm gaming and recording all on the same computer uh, which does take quite a toll uh, because I do not have NVENC uh, it is getting encoded on the CPU. This is a CPU intensive game, particularly when you have AI cars in the mix and it, it just makes it worse. In saying that, I did test all this not recording uh, and just the vision that you're seeing is obviously recorded. So, uh, in ACC, in VR, it actually did look really good um it it's definitely a step up things are looking a bit crisper things are looking a bit clearer than they once were uh, things in the distance aren't uh, blurry uh, that the things you're passing on the side of the screen that it's very very fast as it's going by there's not as much artifacting and wobbliness as there was before, which was one of the things that really annoyed me. The last time I upgraded my AMD graphics card drivers was actually December last year. And then I upgraded to the, well, the current version that I showed you just before, um, probably a few weeks ago when I, I had an issue uh, with a, a Windows update and it corrupted all my graphics drivers. But from the research I've done, this isn't just on AMD's part, uh, which is why uh, there was getting a lot of stuttering with AMD and, well, VR in general, not even just the Quest 2. But uh, in a combination of AMD and Meta not being great on the AMD part either, but apparently in, I think it was V55, Meta did an update. Um, it did help the situation. And then now AMD has 
updated their drivers as well. It's kind of worked in conjunction to make VR better for the, well, not even just Quest 2, Quest 3 now. I can definitely see a difference here. But is it a massive difference between the Quest 2 and Quest 3 still? I mean, yeah, yes. It's just not as massive as a jump as I initially thought it was. Um, because the last time I used the Quest 2 was actually on the old AMD graphics card drivers. Uh, but it's still a good jump between the Quest 2 and Quest 3. I, I think that the, particularly the lenses are a big thing. The, the lenses on the Quest 3 are just so much better than the Quest 2, which does help visually a lot. You can look all around the car, you can kind of see to side of you a bit more, and it just looks clear. Whereas if on the Quest 2, you can see kind of clearly in front of you, but you start to look to the sides, and that's when all the glare and god rays and all that really start to come in. It's not as clear um, if it's to the sides of you but the quest 3 is much much better with that um, but even on a, a visual side i do find i do run worse settings with the quest 2 compared to the quest 3 i feel, feel that i can push it a little bit more and uh, I, it's just a bit better graphically because um, i've used the quest 3 quite a bit and then to do this video i went back to the quest 2 and i'm like yeah Look, it's not as smooth. It's not as... Um, yeah. I, I And I'm running better settings on the Quest 3. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I can't push the Quest 2 quite as much as I can the Quest 3. So, I still say uh, Quest 3 is a good jump from the Quest 2. Uh, it's probably not as, as massive as I initially thought it was though. So what's my conclusion for the Quest 2 in sim racing? Well, for the first time after three years in trying, it's actually a thumbs up on this one. If you got an AMD graphics card, it's now usable in sim racing. Is it as good as its newer sibling? No. But is it definitely usable now? Yes. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, everybody. It's uh, to keep updated with all the new Quest 3 content and other sim racing stuff. Subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.